Now, if you only have a few albums to clean and you can't find something like this, there is a quick and easy way to clean them. This is how I've done thrift store and antique sale records for a number of years before I got serious about cleaning them. And what's nice about it is that it doesn't take up very much room and you can get all of the supplies you need for it at the dollar store. Um, that everything from the isopropyl alcohol, the distilled water, the microfiber cleaning cloths, and the microfiber paint trim paint brushes. Um, there's a lot of information on these trim brushes on the various record forums online. You can dig that out. Gist of it being they're very, very fine micro brushes made out of plastic that'll reach down physically right into the grooves in the record and help scrub out the gunk. They do a really good job. You're also gonna need a Lazy Susan. Um, I used one we already had at home here because it was a little bit more stable. Uh, this is a perfectly acceptable way to keep your records clean. Um, provided you start with clean microfiber cloths and you're very careful, you're going to do a very good job with this. It's going to get the majority of the schmutz off of the album. You are going to need a Lazy Susan, a paint trim tool, two long fiber microfiber cleaning cloths, one short fiber microfiber cleaning cloth, and your record cleaning solution. And you're ready to start cleaning your record. Now this cleaning process is fairly straightforward. We're gonna place the record down on the Lazy Susan on one of the soft cloths, saturate the surface well with our cleaning solution, and then start scrubbing out the grooves with the paint trim tool. It's really gonna grab. You're gonna feel it grab onto the grooves. I do a couple of revolutions in each direction, and then we're gonna use the short nap microfiber cleaning cloth to clean up most of that dirty water. And I'm awkwardly trying to do that around a camera tripod here. Um, once that's done, we're gonna take the other long nap microfiber cleaning cloth and use it to just get the last bit of moisture off the album. With the first side clean, we'll inspect it and then flip it over and do the whole thing over again on the B side. The resulting record is spotless and ready to play. I wouldn't do more than a few of these before I washed the cloths out though. So a step up from these systems is going to be a vacuum assisted cleaning system. And you can build something like this really easily and inexpensively at home. You are gonna to have to build a couple of things here. You're going to need a turntable with a stable base. You're going to need a crank to crank the record while you're running the vacuum attachment. And you're going to need to make the vacuum attachment itself. But that's very easy to do. All of these things are pretty simple. I'll show you how I did it. And then we're gonna clean a few records this way and show you how that works. So this is gonna be very similar to the first method that I showed you. We're still gonna be using a microfiber brush to scrub the grooves out. We're still gonna be using the same cleaning solution. But rather than cleaning the solution off the record with the microfiber cloth, we're gonna be vacuuming it off. And for that, we're going to need to build a tool, an attachment for a vacuum cleaner. I built mine to fit my shop vac. You can build yours to fit whatever you've got at home. I would recommend a wet dry vac. They're pretty inexpensive and you probably have one anyway. The vacuum attachment is the most important part of this kit and I made mine by squaring off the end of a crevice tool, cutting a four inch long slit in the widest face of it with a thin saw blade, and then gluing what is essentially a gasket made out of the trim paint tool material around it with super glue. The crank is four and a quarter inches in diameter with a quarter inch hole in the center, offset drawer pull, and the underside has a sheet of foam glued to it for grip. I made my turntable assembly out of some Lazy Susan parts and some half inch thick MDF. The turntable itself doesn't need to be perfectly round, so I cut it out on my scroll saw and cleaned it up on my belt sander. So long as the spindle is centered, everything else will be okay. The turntable section needs to be slightly larger in diameter than an album, so slightly over 12 inches. In order to clean a record on the vacuum cleaning kit we've just made, we're gonna put the record on the turntable, the clamp on the record, and give it a good shot of record cleaning solution before we start scrubbing it out with the trim tool. Now the trim tool is gonna to grab, but you're going to feel it grab the grooves as you're turning it. I like to do a couple revolutions in each direction, and then we're gonna grab our vacuum tool and just suck all of that dirty water off of the surface of the record. Before I flip the record to repeat this process, I like to put down a clean paper towel between each side just to make sure everything stays clean. And then we do it all again.
I like to clean my records in batches of 20 or 30, and as each one is done, I place it very carefully in this drying rack. Now, this should give you a good idea of how well this works. The pad on the left has cleaned over two dozen records and is ready to be replaced. Look at how much stuff it has picked up. All right, so now assuming that you're all done, no matter which way you've chosen to clean your vinyl today, the last step is also very important, and that's gonna be re-sleeving your album in an aftermarket anti-static sleeve. I like these ones from Original Masters. Um, I, they're inexpensive and they're excellent quality. So once the record is clean and dry, we are just gonna grab it. We're going to put it into its new sleeve and we're gonna put it back in its outer sleeve. Just like that. So now we know that this record is clean, it's static free and it's ready to play and it can go into storage. Um, before I play this, I'm going to use the carbon fiber brush every time and that way I know it's a clean record going back into a clean sleeve. So I hope that's helped a few of you maker types out there keep your vinyl record collection sounding good for longer. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me up in the comment section below. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the like button. That helps me out a lot. And until next time, keep making. We'll see you next time.